President Obama and Vice President Biden never even tried to fix this during their eight-year period. I've instructed Attorney General Holder to work with cities across the country to help build better relations between communities and law enforcement. Never even tried to fix this. That means working with law enforcement officials to make sure their ranks are representative of the communities they serve. They had no idea how to do it. It means working to train officials so that law enforcement conducts itself in a way that is fair to everybody. Never even tried to fix this. Now, we've launched a police data initiative that's helping Camden and other innovative cities use data to strengthen their work and hold themselves accountable by sharing it with the public. They had no idea how to do it. I'm going to be proposing some new community policing initiatives, including up to 50,000 additional body-worn cameras for law enforcement agencies. President Obama and Vice President Biden never even tried to fix this. Today, we're also releasing new policies on the military-style equipment that the federal government uh, has in the past provided to state and local law enforcement agencies. We're going to prohibit some equipment made for the battlefield that is not appropriate for local police departments. Good morning. And uh, obvious fact check there. Yeah. President Trump's claim about his predecessor's efforts to reform policing. In fact, the Trump administration has spent much of its time unraveling those Obama administration police reforms. You know, Willie, it would be as if Donald Trump criticized his predecessor for not knowing <laughs> how to properly walk down a ramp and drink a glass of water. Mm, mm. You went right to the <laughs> ramp, didn't you? You had to do it. Um, <laughs> listen, that's, that's, I, I think the term gaslighting has been overused in the last few years, but that is explicit gaslighting, which is to say telling us something is true that is yeah. demonstrably not true. Obviously, President Obama and his administration, they launched an initiative to allow the Justice Department to investigate police departments as they did in Ferguson, Missouri, for example. The Trump administration uh, backpedaled on that, unrolled that. And shortly before that, as you heard there, President Obama announced an initiative to stop selling surplus military equipment to police departments. The Trump administration undid that as well. There's a long list. He's just making things up, and he did it again yesterday. And good morning. Welcome to Morning Joe. It's Wednesday, June 